Hey, you like van tours? I love giving you van tours. We're gonna take a look at a new uh, road track. New road track. And it's so unusual to see Pleasure Way and Road Track on the same lot. So we're really excited to show you this. Today we got a special guest giving us van tours. You are? I'm Dave from Advanced Camping in Milwaukee. Advanced Camping in Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee. Love Wisconsin. It's just one of the greatest states. It's a beautiful time of year, summer here in Milwaukee, and uh, we've got some of the best van campers we feel like in the industry. We've got Pleasure Way, Road Trek, and Winnebago. So come visit us or visit our website, and uh, we're going to take a look at a new uh, road trek. A new road trek. And it's so unusual to see Pleasure Way and Road Trek on the same lot. So we're really excited to show you this. Maybe just kind of tea. Let's go over on this way and this kind of tease us uh dave what we're going to look at here uh road trek is kind of new it's a comeback kid right it is so uh road trek got bought out a few years ago by a french company rapido and huge in europe they own some really iconic brands like westphalia they wanted to expand into north america and they bought road trek and have been uh producing in canada and for all of north america since 2019. So they're, they're back, the quality is better than ever. Absolutely. Solid warranty. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, just really excited to, uh, to show you this. So let's do a walk around the outside. There's some really unusual features on this, around the black tank in particular. I think folks are gonna be curious about that. Yeah. And then we'll jump inside. All right. All right, Dave. So this is a Pro Master right off the gate. Right, this is a 3500? Yes, 3500, and this is a Road Truck Zion Slumber. The slumber meaning it's got a pop top, which we're gonna see in a few minutes. Really a, a fabulous feature. Yeah. The Zion has been a great seller for them for years, um, but the, the slumber part gives you a pop top. And this van's kind of unusual. You can seat five You can seat and seat five. belts. We'll and see that inside, but, and you can sleep, I don't know, probably five. Probably five, so, yeah. What a deal. Awesome. Yep. Um, so looking around the outside, we got some, uh, so it's a uh, window van, the cut yes. functioning so windows in, right? They've got all automotive glass on the side. So they wanted a really clean look. So a deep tint, you've got opening windows here, but they glass it all in. So it gives it uh, kind of a conversion van or limousine look to it. They also paint all of their accessories They've got kind of this monochromatic paint scheme. All of the plastics match. Yeah, that's um, nice. So that uh, gives it a nice automotive look. And what goes in this is the exterior shower, probably? This is the outside shower. Yep. So you've got hot and cold water out here. And, uh, you know, you want to rinse the dog off. You want to, you've gone to the beach and you want to uh, rinse your feet off. <laughs> Maybe yeah. hose down your spouse if they're all hot. Yeah. Hot and bother. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for showing us that. So this is kind of different here. So um, I'm curious about this. We'll talk about this in a second, but what is this here? Furnace, I'm guessing? This is a Girard instant water heater. So, Girard, that's... Um, it's a different brand uh, than a lot of companies use, but it's tankless. So it gives you uh, hot water on demand, uh, basically limitless hot water. That's cool. Um, right. This is a Suburban, so it's a furnace, right? So that's... Yes, uh, a traditional Suburban forced air furnace uh, in this model. And, and then, what's under the secret cabinet here? Yes, beneath here, and this is really neat. So the black and gray water, um, they've hidden the connections uh, oh, yeah. underneath this panel. So again, giving it that clean look. And this actually has a macerator uh, discharge uh, pump. So you can pump out your tanks uh, rather than depending on gravity, um, which sometimes, you know, you're at a dump station and you're flowing uphill, so to speak. Yeah. This will not be a problem for that. So the hose is all attached. It's all self-storing. Oh. You've got a beautiful end on the end here. So it just fits it, in the hole. You put it right into the dump station and then you would, um, Choose which valve you want, you know, which tank, gray or black, like you would. And then you'll come over to the door, and in the door jam, you've got the switch to activate the pump. There's a little red oh, yeah, button. Right here. Yep. So you just actively press and hold that super clean system. Keeps yeah. You away from 
you know, all the stinky stuff. They'll pump it uphill, sideways, whichever way you want to go. And it actually like grinds and pumps. Together. Yeah, that's kind of the beauty of a macerator, right? That it uh, kind of grinds it up. So it's it a keeps... little more durable of a hose too, which yeah. is kind of nice. Not very often seen on the van. Not too much, no. Yeah. And then the other thing in the event, you know, people always say, well, what happens if the pump stops working? Well, they do give you, uh, which it doesn't happen frequently. It's very reliable, but this is a kind of a backup plan. You could hook up a traditional yeah. uh, sewer hose and empty should you ever have a, uh, an issue with it. So you might be kind of wondering like, what? What's the difference? Why have both systems? So I run into this on a somewhat frequent basis. I was staying at the, um, fairgrounds uh wisconsin state fairgrounds rv park and the problem with their dump station is it's at curb level so i had about maybe best case two inches of decline um, into the sewer hose what that means is the tank doesn't empty fast and it doesn't empty all the way because there's not enough gravity and suction pulling all that stuff out of the tank so to have an option like this really makes a lot of sense yeah and uh it's again I, it, or the distance between the van and the and the hole uh, where you put your, your hose into sometimes is like truck stops. They got sure. all this you know, fencing and stuff around it. And this again is just a really beautiful option. So uh, thanks for taking the time to show us that. Yeah, you bet. Let's keep moving. All right. So we've been looking at this. Let's kind of look up a little bit here, boys and girls. And this is the pop top. We'll see it inside as well. But uh, what are your thoughts on this? So we have windows on this side. Yeah, so they'll three of the sides of the tent will open and you can have great airflow. It kind of gives you the option to be a little bit part of nature, you know, get fabulous cross ventilation and also to sleep, you know, additional people in the event you have, you know, more than two people in the coach. Yeah. These are popular. Yeah, very popular. And this one, you know, you still have room on this model for the air conditioner on the roof, yeah. which um, not all of the pop tops in the market have an air conditioner. Uh, so that is key and easy super, to open. super easy to use. Yeah, you just pull it down literally 30 seconds. You can have it open or closed. I would love to see the van line where they cut the top of the van. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to put the, that would be something that, to see. Yeah. Now this uh, one is equipped with steps. So maybe if you close the door, we're going to see this retract. Yeah, one of the nicest features of the Road Trek van is that you'll have three power steps. So you've got one at the driver's uh, entrance, one at the passenger entrance, and then a really big one at the main entrance. And, you know, if you've got a running board and you're traveling and it's wet or they're traveling in snow, you know, that gets really slippery and icy. Where a retractable step, you know, that's all protected while you drive. And when you get there, you've got this great you know, solid step to... Um, it's to huge. Yeah. So again, if you're looking for some sure footing, I mean, that is, you know, that size eight foot there, um, way better than the running boards, which are always too narrow in my opinion. Yes. In most right. cases. So this is really a, a nice situation. Yeah, and then also in this door jam, they put the fresh water fill. So there's this little what? red plug here. No and they way. put it right in there so that First of all, they don't have another uh, fixture they have to put into the side of your van, like, uh, you know, yeah, making it like unsightly. <laughs> but then secondly, they can lock it with the door so no one can tamper with your water supply. That is really interesting. I've never seen that before. And if it's kind of inclement, you can actually kind of close the door, put your window down, and run your hose in that way if you don't want to, uh, you know, the bugs or the snow or whatever. Um, which is a little easier than having what some are doing, which is putting it on the back and you have to open up your back doors while sure. you fill. So, yep. super great. And this is where the gasoline goes? That's the gas, yep. So front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, uh, it's got aluminum wheels. Um, you know, Road Trek orders the chassis with a, a few more options than most. So you're gonna have like a leather wrapped steering wheel, some uh, backup sensors, some of those things you don't find on every Ram van. And I like how they'd say here, um, created by Road Trek. It's, it's it's a branding thing, but it's almost a confidence thing. And created is kind of a great way to say that, right? Yeah, and it's you know it's discreet. I discreet, think it's yeah. A little bit downplayed, which is nice. what people like in the van camper world. So here's the passenger. We were talking about that. Let's uh, let's look at the awning here, um, Dave, and some lights. Yes. So a lot of times when you get a pop top, you have to make a sacrifice and not get an awning. 
but Road Trek has designed uh, their own set of brackets to allow an awning to be installed with their half tap. So this is a power awning and uh, it will come out you know, approximately 8 feet and really uh, a great feature for a van camper with a half tap. Now is it armless? Meaning you it's don't? not armless. So, so, so that kind of indicative of there's yes. a pole that reaches up to about here to lock the awning out. Right, okay. so the, actually the nice thing about having arms, yes it's one extra step, but it will provide you a little stability where you can tie it down to the van. If you do get a breezy day, it's not going in right away because it has some anchor points. Anchor points. To the van. So. Slumber. The other oh yeah, thing what's I this thing? Show you, there's one more panel down here. So again, you see a lot of vans, you'll see the propane fill, you'll see all of that stuff. They have put the propane tank underneath this panel so again trying really striving for that clean automotive look love it and then as we enter you'll see this huge platform step that is really nice really so great. if you're not sure-footed this is really a nice way to enter and, and exit the van So coming inside, uh, cab seats spin around? Yes, both cab seats. Uh, this one you'll get you know, just about 90 degrees, okay. uh, but you do have the other one. Um, there is a spot for a table up front here. So you know, a lot of times Road Trek has recognized that people want to leave the bed made up in the rear uh, for the night, or maybe it's a quick stop. And if, they, if they're doing that, it still offers them a dining position in the front. There's also, of course, a dining position in the back. That is so great. Let's, uh, we don't have the ladder deployed because it takes up this kind of space. So let's just kind of show the folks what this looks like. So fairly standard stuff. What I do like here is this huge sun. Yeah, it's got like a skylight. Skylight, I see it. I was gonna say sunroof. Okay. This is really nice. Now there are any power outlets up there? There are some, I believe it's right on the end. Yeah, so you can plug in your phone or something overnight. Uh, got a little bit of a light here, which is pretty cool. And again, this would unzip, unzip there, and then unzip on this side. So lots of cross airflow, which is really, really important. This sort of ladder would hook in too. Great for kids. Not yeah. sure adults want to scurry up. Or grandkids. Great grandkids, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So what are we looking at here besides us? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the bathroom. Um, and Road Trek has really refined this space over the years. Um, you know, it's it's just about the perfect amount of room dedicated to the bathroom. So they've angled the toilet, you get a little corner sink, and then uh, when you're using the restroom, the doors will actually hook in like a V shape. So, you know, when you're not using it, it goes flush and you've got more aisle space out here. Yeah. And then when you're using it, it will actually lock from the inside in this expanded so you uh, have way more space right? yeah so you get a little elbow room in there so really a nice uh you know well thought out bathroom it is and this is a functional seat i mean if you're gonna put a sink in make it functional so many put a sink in you can't use i love my bathroom sink and this is kind of cool here's the light and here's the mirror that's appropriately placed normally the lights behind you uh so i'm really thrilled to put it here where it belongs you probably happen to sit to shower but Nonetheless, depending on your size, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's a uh, again a well thought out bathroom, as you say. That's a huge mirror, and then on the outside we have mirror here too, so you can see in almost a full full dress, which is um, really nice, and it kind of gives it some um, lightness because it's not just all yeah. dark wood. Right. Uh, so the mirror gives a little kind of a fake window appearance. Got a little storage up here, which is pretty cool. Always helpful. Every nook and cranny. Dave, tell us about the galley. <laughs> yes, all right, so the kitchen space, um, it has uh, a granite countertop. Um, it, you've got a nice sink lid and a stainless steel sink. Um, they've put a pull-out faucet on, which is uh, handy. Yes. And then you've got this little expansion counter, oh, so okay. you can buckle this up. It's very sturdy, uh, so you've got the ability to kind of expand your space um, if you need to. Which is really handy. It's just not flush with this, but you got some power outlets here, it looks like, uh, which is always handy. And again, I just love this kind of a thing because it just gives you, you know, if you're using the sink and using this uh, the cooktop, 
then you have this space available to have as a functioning surface. And this would be your view out at the, uh, I don't know, the Grand Canyon. There you go. So again, making the meal and um, screen up or down. It uh, just is a really lovely galley. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got some. Well, you got an induction cooktop. This is an option. You can have induction or two burner propane. Um, they put a silverware drawer in, which That's is nice. nice. And then you've got two uh, kind of shelved cabinets. Oh, those are huge, too. Really deep down below, ladies and gentlemen. And right across from this, and what many of our customers really enjoy, is this pull out pantry. So you've got a huge kind of storage space. You can access the back because it pulls out and um, you know it's all ball bearing drawer guides. So it's very durable. Very durable. That's kind of almost a road track train market. Yeah, yeah, this this whole kitchen space is, um, you know, again, they've kind of refined it uh, over the years. And, and then yeah, what you've is... got this huge drawer down Whoa. here. People will use this for a variety of things. Certainly you could put pot pots and pans. I get yeah. some people that put clothing or other gear in here, uh, but it is a, a large pull-out drawer. Huge. <laughs> and then right above Fridge. that. This yeah. is kind of different. What brand is this? I need to see. Yeah, I think it's a Vitri Frigo. Uh, it's a European fridge that they're, you know, starting to offer here in North America. It's a compressor uh, DC driven fridge. So nice. cools very quickly. You don't have to be level. And it offers you a great refrigerator space and really a, a very nice freezer space. And what people really like about this is that it's at eye level. You're not having to get down low, get on your knees to really get the things out of the right. fridge. And this is a pretty good sized fridge, ladies and gentlemen. So that would definitely pass the uh, 12 pack of beverage test and the seven yes. pack of ice test. This is a, this is a cute um, oh, ice cube tray, <laughs> thing, but you could put a actual bag of ice in there, yes. That is nice. And all of the coach is controlled by the Firefly screen, oh, yeah. which they put, um, it might be a little hard to see in the sun here, but they put it right above the entry door. So you're, you know, you're controlling your lighting, your heating and cooling systems, your lithium batteries, um, all from one area. And uh, that runs on a CAN bus. It's uh, you know very very uh, reliable uh, and almost self-diagnosing if there is a problem. And then uh, Road Trek uh, gives you now 600 amps of lithium, which is a huge lithium battery pack, a 3,000 watt inverter. So it gives you the freedom to run your air conditioner for a limited amount of time off of the battery. So if you have a pet or if you you know you want to pull over and eat lunch. Um, you know, you can keep the van cool without having to run a generator or the engine. So Dave mentioned the big inverter. 3,000 watts is pretty big. It does consume some energy to have that instant on of the microwave, the AC. But what makes it important is you can have a near shore power experience by running the microwave and the AC at once. If you have a 2,000 watt inverter, you have to choose between one or the other appliances. And Road Trek wanted you to have a near shore power experience by running two high consumptive uh, appliances at once. And that's pretty cool. It is. This really yeah. makes you uh, much more comfortable in your traveling experience. So I'm glad they did that. All right, so more galley. I just love the brushed aluminum. It's just so sexy. Uh, yeah, and it's and really classic. Practical, yeah, super clean, practical, right? Yeah, right? I'm, I'm always wiping grease spots off and something pops. It's just, it's a mess. Um, microwave? Yep. So regular microwave just nuts? Just a regular yeah. microwave, not a convection. Not a convection. It, it's in a limited amount of space here, but it really gets the job done uh, for most people. Yeah, so. it's, I use mine all the time. It's really, really great. Um, so this then, is... This is like a little hanging wardrobe. Oh, so sure. It comes with armrests and comfort pillows for the sofa in the back. So they're in there right now, but you can see there's a hanging bar. And uh, this is also where the table post will store. Uh, so when the table is stowed away, it can go right in this. But it's thing. very large and the length is such that you can have hanging clothes. And if you really want to bring some stuff with, you can probably put some shelving in there. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yep. Even with the pantry that you know, we just saw right here. Why do you want to do that? But, you know. it's, People it's like got, their stuff. You know, it's got plenty of storage <laughs> and actually all of these will open up and, and really offer you, you know, a, a pretty deep amount of storage on both sides. Nice lockers to put. Uh, gear or clothing. 
and we kind of talk about the interior color. Um, dark is really kind of masculine and modern looking. It does darken the van, so it's really kind of a ball toss, but they do offer other colors. It does, yeah. They So they have three different colors. This is the darkest of the three. Uh, they call this the ebony interior, but it does really give it a very contemporary look. A lot of the people that love this really love it. And certainly there are other colors if, if it's not your, yeah. your, thing. your so, thing. Yeah. And the other thing I notice is um, the wood has, you can't see it on camera, I know, but um, it has a texture to it. So it's not just smooth, it's got a little bit of feel to it, which, and it's a good feel. Almost feels like a, I don't know how to express, like a, like a, a banana peel, not quite as sticky tacky, um, but it's just got a really nice finger touch to it. Um, just really well done. Yeah, and they, you know, they build all of their own cabinets, Road Trek, so um, these are all, you know, com computer generated uh, to the curve of the van wall and made on a CNC machine. So you get like maximum storage and maximum aisle width. So sometimes you go into van campers, it feels a little like yeah, crowded. Phobic, yeah. Here you get a little more aisle space because uh, they, the way they build, they the build it. Yeah. So let's shift gears and talk about where you're sitting, Dave, and the table also important. And I love the uh, TV condom. This is kind of cool. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Well, Dave's sitting in the back here. Let's kind of go through the table situation. Yes, so this is um, this is their tabletop, and they have two choices. You can either have it on a standard post, or you can get this lagoon arm. So this arm, very popular in van campers, really articulates in a variety of ways. You know, you can actually bring this around 360 degrees and move it out of the way if you wanted to access the fridge again or you know, get to the galley, whatever you would need to do. So um, it's a, a well thought out design. And again, you can use this in the back or you can use it up in the front seat. Yeah, we saw the pedestal on that right there. Hard to see in the sunlight right there. And what I find kind of compelling about this is we see in some vans where a table mounts directly on top of the pole and then you're kind of fighting with the table position to get around it. Right. This is clever. It gives you the functionality of Lagoon and you can swivel it out of the way and still access the back, uh, which is pretty smart. Pretty smart. Um, I just want to point out this too. This is just really lovely. This is fabric um, and it's got a little cushy to it. And just again, the fit and finish in here is really, really lovely. And blinds for privacy, because uh, this one doesn't open, but this one does, this one, right? Yes, this is a slider window. So you got this huge opening where you can get really bad. good airflow. Another one like that directly on the opposite side. So you can get a good cross oh, breeze well. here. And then you can pull these shades and uh, blinds to wherever you'd like. So, you know, you can keep the sun out over here and still have the airflow on this side. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It just feels, it has a very distinct feel. I'm not sure I can put my finger on it, but... Uh, uh, so let's talk about the bed. So how's this bed work? Yeah. Is this uh, motorized maybe? It's a power and... sofa. Yep. Okay. Um, so it will, uh, you know, not as I'm sitting on it, but uh, it will move forward to these uh, two cushions and you actually have over six feet of sleeping uh, length. And you've got um, the ability to sleep it as two twin beds or by using these backrests and the support board, you can actually fill it right in in the middle here and make it one giant king bed. One giant, giant bed, which is pretty impressive. A um, couple of things I want to point out that I really like about this design. Cabinet, cabinet, no cabinet, 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 because there's so much storage up here. It always kind of gets me that they put some floor plans, put another cabinet in, and if you have your doors open, um, it just opens up the interior so much more because if you had another cabinet it would probably end right here so it just gives a lift i got the ac here that might be why but it just gives a much more linear and open feel in my opinion um yep. the other thing is so clearly there's a screen screen and you've got privacy uh shade or curtain shades zip in blackout uh privacy in there and then you've also got seat belts. Three Tell us point, about that. Yeah, three point seat belts for two of the positions in the back sofa. And then it's got one center lap belt. So again, you can seat up to five in here. So if you're doing a day trip or you're bringing the whole family, you've got seat belts for everyone. Yeah, it's pretty important, especially so mom, dad sleep down here, grandma, grandpa, and then you park the kids. 
up where they want to be, which is away from you probably, up here. So you can travel five, sleep five, pretty easily if there are folks are on the small side. It's pretty amazing in a van of this size. Yep, it's and impressive. you got the seatbelts, and of course, if you're traveling with kids, like I have two boys. Oh yeah, here's um, the TV. You the, got the TV cover. right back where you need to have it, so there's some entertainment as you're doing that cross-country trip. And the, the condom, as I kind of uh, joked about it, has, it's a, an elastic thing that um, slips on and off. Yeah, it's just Which a is nice to not forward. have that thing just kind of looking at you all the time. So that's just a little extra touch that's kind of nice. Yeah, and they incorporate a little snap tie down. So if you don't have your, if you forget to buckle, mm. you know, this thing isn't flopping around, the act, this will kind of hold it in place as yeah, well. Yeah, it's really nice. And again, just a little touch here of this uh, brushed aluminum. There's a little bit back here. So just these little bits of brightness. It's really well done. Um, let's talk about the air conditioner. Then we'll talk about the systems, the uh, lithium you had mentioned earlier. But this is a uh, GE. You don't see GE in here. Very yes. Often. So they, they only use the GE on the pop top models. Uh, otherwise, it's typically a, generally a Dometic uh, air conditioner in the back here with the non pop top. And again, it's always important to have these baffles that you can adjust. The yes, point that there's you're one right in the middle too that can you know kind of bring the air right, right down, down top, top of you. Yeah. So van tip is if you can adjust where the air is pointing. So if you're sleeping back here and you want to cool the bedroom, you're not trying to cool the front, so you adjust the baffles. Why? Because you get more time on your battery dialing up the compressor or the temperature, compressor runs less, fan stays on, allows you to get much more hours out of an AC condi uh, conditioner running off battery. And that's why the, the baffles are so important in a, in a van like this. Yep. Um, it's exactly. cool in the back where you are, not up front where you're not. And that just helps uh, extend things. Let's talk about capacities. And um, you mentioned lithium, so maybe we can talk about that again. And then of course, MSRP, if everyone wants to know how much one of these bad boys are. Yeah, so as a, a good rule of thumb, and I don't have the exact specs, I'm sorry, in front of me, but we'll put, them, we'll in, put them here and there at the end of the yeah, video, too. Road Trek in general has 30 gallons of fresh water, 20 of gray, 10 of black. That's what I, a good rule of thumb, depending on the model, is for them, which is quite large That's fresh water. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this one, most everything is actually standard on Road Trek. There are just a handful of options. So this will come with the 600 amp of lithium. Uh, there's a lagoon table option. It has rear sumo springs, which is mm. like a um, suspension upgrade for the back yep. uh, that you can get, and this one has. The induction stove top, uh, which we talked about. And then really just your color choices. So that's uh, that's about it. Everything else you see is standard, like their standard build. So it's. Uh, it's got really all the features. So um, pretty loaded right out of the gate. Um, and this is a 2022. This is a 22 on a 21 chassis. Um, Road Trek does their model year with the actual calendar year, which is kind of uh, different than some in the industry. So you won't find a, a 2023 Road Trek in July uh, out in the wild. They won't switch over till December, January. Of which sort of makes more sense. It's confusing. I never understood what car makes. Now our viewers do the same thing. Yes, right. Or even a dot yep. five middle of the year. What? Yep. Um, and then MSRP? This has got, uh, this one with the options, 173241 is the, with the freight, um, is the sticker price uh, on this model. Okay. And your discount's like 50%? Uh, it's, yeah, buy one, get one free. Yeah, there you go. Buy how much you pay hey, for he the first one. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, hit the team up here. Um, there's a Dave and Mike and... Yes, we've got it. two Daves, we've got two Daves, a, a Jerry. A Jerry. We, we, yes, but we're happy to help you. Um, our website has uh, a lot of our own videos on it, advancedcamping.com, if you want to learn about some of the other models, that's yeah. a great spot, yeah. or our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, which is pretty great. And uh, just thanks again for uh, warranty really fast. So Road Trek used to be kind of selling off warranty before they kind of yes. shut down and, and reincarnate. Uh, what's the warranty on, on Road Trek? Right. So it's a uh, two years on the upfit, and then of course you'll have the Ram warranty, which is three year 36. Okay, that's great. I just want to thank you for the time. I know you guys are super busy on, in the summer months, and uh, it's just so important for folks like you to get this information from the, the people that are most familiar with these. And uh, just really thank you again for the time and, and the access. And, it's my and, pleasure. Um, and these are cool. There's always something compelling to me about Road Trek. 
Oh yeah, it's a it's I just a classic really design. I always like these. Well done. Uh, and Dave and I were talking before we went on camera that when Heimer owned them, there is a distinct difference in quality. It's so much better now. I yes. mean, it's right up there with. I'd even say it's above Winnebago a little bit. And just in the fit and the finish, not quite pleasure way, but you're not going yeah. that route. I, I think it's uh, you know that's the best part of all three having all three is right. that some people gravitate for certain things yeah. others other things so we've got this option i think the quality is great yeah. rapido is yeah. really quality driven and we certainly have noticed it yeah it's really great all right so until we see you soon we wish you to journey on dave thanks again hey thank you <laughs> we'll see you soon